important. <clears throat> we are not talking about fraudulent voting acts. But what we are talking about, John, is treason. When you coordinate six to ten states using cyber warfare to change the outcome, these are treasonous acts. They're not dirty deeds or fraudulent voting. They're treasonous acts, punishable by death. <clears throat> they are trying to take over our government. When you use cyber warfare, as, we're, as you've seen in the domain voting systems, as well as the CIA rogue systems that they've used, hammer and scorecard, which we've talked about. In addition, you have no FBI or DOJ prior investigation, to my knowledge. <clears throat> and finally, the uh, Cyber Warfare Infrastructure and Security Agency, headed up by a guy by the name of Chris Krebs, was saying it was the perfect election, no discrepancies. He's got to be an idiot, but most of all, he's guilty of treason, and the president fired him. He is part of the cobble that has created this major attack, this major warfare, and it is warfare. It's hybrid warfare in the 21st century using cyber warfare and other techniques to change a government without a shot being fired. And that's what is so serious about this. And getting those Dominion voting machines and impounding them before they change the software is extremely important. Now, what I believe the president should do, he should declare today a national emergency and declare this state of emergency using his executive order dated September 12, 2018, declaring a national emergency if there's foreign influence, because we know there's Chinese, Russian, and Iranian influence on this election. And he should use that. He should suspend habeas corpus, just as uh, Lincoln and FDR did when they met national tragedies and emergencies like this. The Democratic perpetrators, as well as the Russians, the Chinese, and the Iraqis, have not disguised this cyber war on America. It's blatant. We should start arresting them now. This is serious. Let's not call this fraudulent activity. It's treason, John, in the 21st century modern hybrid warfare. We must suspend the Electoral College and the uh, inauguration on the 20th of January until we get this resolved. And with that executive order that he's got, plus the Insurrection Act, he has the authority to do this. This is very serious. People must understand what's happened. This nation's government is being stolen. And it's not through some small criminal acts. It's through treasonous acts. And I would also declare martial law. It won't affect the American people except those people like Antifa, and BLM, that are going to start rioting once they know they've been had. They know they've been had. What they're surprised is that the mainstream media, except for people like you, John, are ignoring it. Fox News ignored it. Finally, they had a little bit on it today, but if it wasn't for Newsmax and One American Network on the television side, we have nothing. So I'm saying, American people, let's rise up. Let's set up military tribunals. This judicial system we have is corrupt. It's slow moving. The founding fathers had never heard of cyber warfare, but they had heard of the oath that we take to defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. They knew about domestic enemies, and that's what the president is, is facing. So wake up, America. We've got to get this thing rolling. The president has got to demand a thorough investigation of these elections using his executive order that was promulgated in September 2018 and suspend all actions until it is thoroughly investigated. Everybody should demand the president to do this. We cannot proceed on because they, they quit being covert, this blatant, outright crookery and cheating, and it's treasonous activity, John. Thank you.